Miss Michael. And my name is Richard. We are the lead investigators and the co-founders of the Paranormal Travelers team. All of our lives we want to discover the truth of the unknown. To seek out what we cannot explain, see, touch, or feel using the most advanced technology available. So as our trusted team comes together, we will spend one night searching for unexplained and the most haunted locations in and out of our area. Join us on our investigation as we seek the truth. Ghosts, demons, Bigfoot, poltergeists, UFOs. We are your team. We seek the truth. We are the Paranormal Travelers. Investigation, House of Dolls, private residence in Plymouth, Pennsylvania. Our next case is based out of Plymouth, Pennsylvania, where one of our clients is having issues with her home. She had claimed that there are spirits that reside there are tormenting her and her family, making her ill and causing the family to fight all the time. We, the team, will battle these forces and try to find out what these spirits want. Earlier that day, the team and I did a walkthrough and came across two dolls that were throwing off very high spikes of energy. Remember, a haunted doll is a homemade or manufactured doll or a stuffed animal that is reported to be cursed or possessed in some way. Follow us on our journey as we discover the truth about these dolls. It all starts now. And, um, the lady that's coming through. Does she have white and black hair and yes. a little on the other side? Yes. 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 And, and she's the one that comes through and she's telling me to tell you guys that you miss her cooking all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You miss her cooking all the time. Yeah. Okay, please don't doubt it. I'm just meeting these people. Yeah. So when the, oh. when the dead comes through and everything, oh, they don't Oh, we know. We believe right. you. Believe me. And, yeah. and the spirit that's coming through, the grandmother, Figure. She's telling me to tell you, honey, it's okay not to lose your watch She knows that you cry and she knows that you miss her so much. And she goes, please tell it, she's one of those people here that has watched me. Yeah, that's my mom. My mom died. My dad died in 98 and my mom died six months apart. Six months after him. She died in 99. And I mean, it, it, yeah. it's sad and everything. Yeah. I mean, when spirits come through and everything like that, like she has another message to say, yeah. is that <laughs> this one right here, she wants to say, God, I miss playing with her hair with you. Okay? Right. So please validate that it's a loved one coming through, okay, yeah. honey? Yeah. So it's good to hear. Okay, yeah. think of it as good yeah. to Now, yeah, as, but, as, yeah. as for the dark enemy that's holding her back, because what she's trying to say is, is that she's your protector, but she wants to move on and to go be with her but she can't because of holding her back is this dark energy eating the energy off of her. So it's kind of like her soul is like a replay. Constantly going like this, going like this. Yeah. Now the reason why you have your good days and bad days is because your good days, is there a time that you feel a cold chill up on the back of your back and it moves a little bit? Just please know that that is your mother rubbing the back of your back and then that's why you got good day. Okay. So it's her, her spiritual energy going into you, making you feel like I'm all better and stuff like that. Um, this dark enemy that's also in the house is feeding off of a lot of energy off the dog's block. Okay. Um, especially that little guy right there. As soon as I, that one right there. As soon as I saw him, as I was walking to the door, I saw this grayish aura around him, which means that he's not the way he used to be. Oh, no. He used to be our teddy bear. Okay. 
So what that means is that oh, wow. means you guys oh. believe in possession and yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, okay. we do. Yeah. Well, please know that demons and enemies can take possession from an animal. They can make an animal change. Now, at the end of this investigation, the observation I should give you is either tell you that the house is going to be fine, or you guys need to move, or you guys need to just constantly put white salt on the ground and just put it on the edge of the corner where nothing negative will come through, okay? Um, now, well, I have crossed the bug by doors. My mom always said that doesn't let you move. No, it doesn't. Um, also, it's weird because I, I'm looking at you guys and I'm looking at Grandma right now and she's sitting in that, that chair. And she's telling me to tell you right now that she hopes that one day something about crochet, that you'll, oh, you'll, yeah. you'll constantly get back into that, okay? And please validate, like I said, like I don't know you guys for spirits oh, no. they will come through and see one. Now, I did read Nikki and everything at my house and he was amazing. Like, you don't even know me and how do you even know all this stuff? And that's my gift. Now, my gift is I was pronounced dead three times when I was younger. Wow. One in a hot tub drowning, twice in a fire, and three times in a <coughs> And ever since then, I practice my gift. My gift comes through. I see the dead, the dead speaks to me and stuff, and like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have you guys relax, because I know that was a lot to take in with your grandmother in there, okay? My main goal is she's no concern to me because she's more of that piece where she's lovable and she loves everybody and stuff. Yeah. My major goal in Modest is this darker energy that I'm feeling. All right, and this Modest energy is coming from the heart of the home. When I walk through the rooms, I don't feel it more in the living room. I don't feel it more in the dining room. It's more underneath this section right here. Now, underneath this section right here, is that coal mine thing? Or the no, the coal thing is in the over there. Basement. What's I more under this? this that's the uh, exact. That's the uh, place that um you have go underneath the steps. We don't know what's like. Yeah, this is a crawl space. This is where all my pipes are. If I ask you guys, I don't know how well you're, if you're having a good day or a bad day. I'm having a good day. Okay. okay. If I would ask you guys to make it down in the basement, would you ever make it down there? Okay. Uh, they won't go down the basement. I'm going to go in the basement. All right, no worries. I just want somebody to come down there with me and just let me. Yeah. Get him in there. there is a light in there. Where's the light, Charlie? What's the Right next to the. Box. There's so a like, plug next to the box. It's, yeah, it's right plugged there. in. Now switch the switch. Which what switch? The switch on the cord? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Mike, do you want the light on? No, I'm here for okay. Oops, sorry, and I sometimes see a lady curled up right here in a ball. Baby, and she's all beat yeah. up. Come on, baby. Hey. Come here, baby. All right. All right, I can tell you what the, the major problem is right now. Okay. You have three spirits that are investigating this house right now. Not counting the grandma. Okay? Okay, not counting my mom. Not counting my mom. When I walked into that room right there, um, it was a very still night vision. Yeah. Looks like I just hit that. Like yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, the person that, the, the number one person that's haunting your home, okay, was recently, was a body that was muted, okay, yeah. in the pollen, okay? So and it's either a male or a female? It is a male, okay? Wow. It's Holy probably shit. Um, Did that go off when you were in there? Mm -hmm. and, okay. and I just stood here okay. holding it and it didn't um, go off. And they don't that know. Off right there? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. and it just started. They don't know what he, um, was... If he was murdered, suicide, or um, or something else, death. His death was murdered. Get out of here. Oh, okay. Baby, come on. Baby, kitty, 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 kitty. Right. Now, what they're doing right now is it's called an EMF meeting, okay? Oh, okay, well, I that, know what that is. What Baby. that does is it detects any kind of spiritual energy, okay? And if there's nothing in there, the meter will completely decall it off. As soon as he opened that up and everything, it started going off really, really quick. Excuse me for one second. It's probably burning. Hello, Bernadette. There's no wires in here. That's just piping. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll meet you. It's just a pipe, and that's a All grab right. bar. Yeah. Okay, we'll so be right there's out. no electric in here that hey, would hey. be doing this. Okay. All right, so as a homeowner was explaining to us and stuff like that, there's some 
things that it's been going on in the house. I did a reading earlier today. Um, the reading I picked up was there was three spirits in this house here. Also a top of a dark mass energy that is collecting all three of these spirits and using their energy as a form to battle against the homeowner that has fallen ill. So what we're going to do first is I have this spirit box in my hand right here. We're going to turn it on. It's gone. And, and it's crazy. Look at that. It just completely left. You know we're here, don't you? You know that we're about to do a communication with you. That is crazy. That is weird. All of a sudden, the readers are dead. You did a communication. Now you, you're... you're oh. Did you build your energy up? If so, make this light flicker over in Rick's hand. Very good. So you built your energy up here. So are you going to make yourself known here? Make this light go solid yellow to red. Very good. Okay. So right now it's making the light go from green to red. Alright. So what we're going to do is, would you like to communicate through the spirit box or if so, make the light go green to orange to red? Very good. Okay, so I'm going to turn the spirit box on and we're going to take turns asking questions with you guys, with you. So I'm going to turn this on. Is there a spirit in this house that wants to communicate with us? Say yes to this device that I have in my hand. I'm sorry, can you say that again? I couldn't quite hear you. Is there a spirit in this house? Yes or no? Are you evil? Do you want to communicate with us? Try your hardest. Come on. Do you want to communicate with us? Say hello to Joy. Hi. Did you hear that? Hi. Very good. Very good. Would you like to say anything to Joy right now in this house? Is the black energy holding you back? Yes or no? Come on, try harder. Yes or no? Are you evil? Again, are you evil? Leave. We're not going to leave. What if we don't leave? What are you going to do? Why do you want us to leave? Why do you want us to leave? That's the dog, right? What's the dog? Was that the dog? It sounded like... It felt like a man, a, a man trying to speak through, like yeah. a deep man's voice. I don't think that was the dog. I don't know. No. I did not like sound like it. In the yeah. right side of my back and to like the middle of my chest. But did you hear it? It went like I'm having a pain in my I, right I was, side of my back. I was yeah. hearing a uh, 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 mm -hmm. Yeah, but like I thought I thought it was I thought it was Buddy. <laughs> no, what's crazy is listen guys, what's crazy is, is the dog sitting right over there. Alright? <laughs> right. right here is Buddy. Like, I this, heard that. That was a that? whisper. Yes, I, I heard, heard that. that. It felt like this voice was here going Did you hear that though? It was a yeah. whisper. Yeah. Yeah. Sammy heard it. Yeah, I heard it too. Say that again. Come on, we heard you. Say it again. Communicate with us. Make a tapping sound. Make that humming sound or that speaking sound once again. Make yourself known. Manifest yourself. Do something. I just caught an orb We're at floating towards you. Okay. 
You alright, Joy? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay? Yep. Okay. I hear that thing. Like, oh, yep. Yeah, I whisper. Yeah, I, I heard it too. When I turn this device on, if that's you trying to make a communication with us, say yes. Now. Yeah. It's behind me. I just heard it again. Yeah. I heard it. It's not like. Are you back here? Come on, you're playing tricks on us. Why don't you make something more better? Throw something. Are you in this chair right behind me? Are you sitting in this chair behind me? Am I looking right at you? Just when you went to turn that on, we heard it again, and it's back here. What is going on in that, uh, something in that corner right there, at the end of the curtain? Turn the flashlight, please. Looks like a CD. That's a scanner, but it's not on. the jersey? It's, like, rising and lowering. Rising. There we go. You caught it again. Turn that off. Are you, are you attaching yourself to one of us in here? What are you? Are you demonic? If you're demonic, say the word demonic. Come on, say something! Are you behind Richard? Are you behind Richard right now? No, so I'm looking in the mirror and there's something standing back here. Are you standing behind us? 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 That was me. Come on, speak into this box right here. Are you down on the floor over here? Yes. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yes. Is it amazing? Yes. Very good. Very good. Do you want to say something? Say something here. Do you want? Are you are you attaching yourself to the dog here? Please let us know. We're here to help you. Let us know. Who are you? This dog's at ease now. You can't hurt this dog anymore. Who are you? You have no right to... Are you yelling at me? You have no right to be here. You need to move on. You need to move on.
What is your name? Are you okay, Joe? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. fine. You Thank sure? you for asking. Yes, I'm fine. You okay I'm just, um, I'm just astonished by hearing all that stuff. I never thought I'd be hearing all that stuff like well, for real. You let me know if you get too out of. Control, just let me know okay. and we'll take you out, okay? okay totally thanks. different than on a TV show, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. <coughs> so, you communicated with us by saying yes that you're here. Why don't we play this game one step further? Why don't you say something that actually proves to us that you're here? Right now. If you're here, say the word joy. Save joy. Joy. Yeah, joy. You hear that? Mm -hmm. And it sounded like before when we were talking that it sounded like something that helped you. Help me first. You hear that? Yeah. It's like that corner. Where are you? Let's play a game. Try this. Make this sound. Make a tapping sound like this. I just heard a bang, yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Right upstairs. That's where something grabbed out of us in the bedroom on here on the end. You're upstairs, aren't you? We thought it was the cat that grabbed some grill. Okay. That was my walker. I don't know. I don't know if they yeah, did she it. Wasn't on the no, there was no dog here. No, Ryder's right here. He's laying down, yeah. She was already up. Oh. Okay. Alright. Why are you here? Don't you want to talk to us? Make that sound again. Try this. Get on the car. Make this sound upstairs. Are you coward? Me. No. Use your chicken line. Well, this window is that bothering you guys? No, you're fine. You don't like when I call you chicken. Are you part of the same spirits that we've encountered before? Are you chicken to come through this box or one of our meters? Come on, answer me. Is there anyone like, is there anyone next door? Yeah, the people here live next door. Because I heard. Mm. That's what the, I heard it too, but it was over here, Michael. I thought it was coming from the no, steps. No, it's in that side right well, there. Well, sound like they're like laughing or whining. Because I'm, I'm in the here. I'm in the stairwell, and I heard it from in here. Well, Bobby would probably be in bed, and they'd probably be walking through here. You're back. You're back. This is amazing because it rarely ever goes off. I've been on three investigations and I've never seen this one go up. Oh, wow. Are you back? Say yes. Okay. I did. Mm -hmm. I heard that. You're here now. Okay. Say my name, Michael, if you're here. Work the energy up and say Michael. Or say Mike. Say Mike. Are you weak? Are you weak? Use my energy. Here we go. I heard it. 
I give you permission, as for me being a medium, use my ability and say, Mike. Say, Mike. My battery is dead. You want to say something? If you're experiencing the paranormal in your home or business, please contact us via our Facebook page or paranormaltravelers at gmail.com. Our services are free and confidential. Check out our episodes on our YouTube channel. Do you want to say something? Banish you. We're going to banish you out of this house. How do you like that? Why are you bothering my?
Wait, wait, wait. You, you can't. I have to back all the way up first. Okay, I'm on your back. I'll let you run. Because there's a walker right here. Okay. My cane. There's a dog coming. Just walk by me. You're here, aren't you? You're chicken, so you're hiding in here. Are you in here? This is where they were probably you, because this was my parlor this, before I got sick. This just spiked to red. You're caught on that, Sammy. There you go. This just spiked to red when I said it's chicken, and now it's gone. What the hell was that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is that you? What? I don't know. Turn yeah, the flashlight on. Yeah, was yeah. that you? I think so. You can ask it, but I think it was my bracelet. No, it's oh, over there. there. That was a growl. No, it sounded like it, no, it hit sounded off glass. Like a, it sounded like a marble was thrown. Yeah, like something was hit off glass or something. Are you mad that I called you chicken? We're trying to help this family. You're hurting them. Come on, I called you chicken before and you spiked my meter and now, it's, now, now there's nothing. What's going on? Leave this family alone. I see something blinking over there in the corner. It went from dead now it's back. Come on, say something. Whisper it. Yeah, why do you see that? The white light protects all of us. You're not going to hurt any of us. Just communicate with us. Give us a reason why There's you're here. Sammy, put the camera down for a second. Put it, uh, face it the other way. No, it's not Sammy. It's not Sammy. Okay. Are you trying to manifest yourself in here? I did. Yep. I just said I did. We'll do it again. Will you do it again for us? If you do it again, I'll stop calling you chicken. Manifest yourself, please. It shows that you want to communicate with us if you try. Do you pray on the women in this house? Do you pray on women inside this house? Say something, try harder. Are you near here? You can come to me, light this up. Come on, take it all the way to red. Show me that you're here, take it to red, just touch it. Come on. We're not, we can't hurt you. Do you want us to go in the basement, yes or no? Basement. You hear that? Answer the question. Do you want us to go in the basement? Yes or no? Try really hard. Yes or no? Like the lower you go with the floor, the more spiker it gets. I stood right here in the same spot. After the first time I called it chicken, it spiked to red and shut off, and it didn't do nothing. Shoot back into that. So now room. it's okay. buzzing back up. It wants to go to red, and now it's. I think it's.
Michael and I decide to take the team into the basement where the family is seen a decrepit woman curled up in a ball towards a coal shandy area. Bernadette and myself picked up hits with the K2 meter as well as the EMF reader, which earlier in the day there was nothing. spirits and a woman down here. This is also where I got that black vibe from. I'm going to turn on this spirit box here, and I'm going to need you to communicate with me. No communication, I can't help you. And if I can't help you, you're trapped in here forever. So we're going to start this. Okay, I'm going to turn the... That was me. Okay. Okay. Is there a spirit down here? Did you say yes? Come and communicate with us. Are you here to hurt us? with us by saying hello. Hello? Hello? Very good. You're here with us. How are you? Very good. Would you like to communicate with us in this box here, yes or no? Are you friendly? Are you friendly? Are you trapped down here? Are you trapped down here? Are you in the coal shandy here? Are you making me feel tired? Come say hello. It was this time now. I don't know what happened. It's over by Bird again. Hers is going off there. Say hi, Joy. Hello. Hello. Very good. So it's a male spirit coming through. Are you the male spirit that held the lady in her captivity? Did you and another man rape her? If you rape this woman, please make the EMF reader go off. I think it's the neighbors. Is it if that's you here, knock. It's the cat. 
right here. Can you touch me? Can you touch my hand? Not my foot. Something's touching my leg. It's the cat. The cat or the dog? No, it's, it's Buddy. She was scared of me. Oh, Look at that. That was Spike. Are you here spiking this? Are you evil? Are you evil? I'm down to one bar. Yeah. Are you taking the energy away from these cameras here? You want us to go? Go. Go. Are we disrespecting you? Are we disrespecting you? Yes or no? Yes or no?
a little weak when I do that. child in here, if you're that child in here, Try to manifest yourself. The curtain's moving. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Rip the curtain down. We give you permission. Tear the curtain down. This is in the corner. That curtain is definitely. Oh my god. Your window's open though, right? Yeah. Okay. That could be the window. Where? In there? No, right there. No, it's no, it's blowing like the wind's blowing from the other side. Is there a window open in the other room? No. Because it's blowing. Oh, it's pushing in. Yeah, it's pushing. Because it should be blowing the other way. Unless it's sucking air. <laughs> yeah, unless it's momentum. What could happen? No, because that wasn't doing that the entire time we've been here. Might have gotten windy out. We need a little more. We need you to rip the curtain down. Unless you can't. Come on, don't be chicken. Yeah, but he's by the bottom of the stairs. Is he looking up the stairs? Road, just Road, turn the, the camera. Yeah. No, he's in that. Where's he at? Right oh! He's so like he was over there. there. There's no, there's no dogs over here. Make a sound. That's vibration. That was vibration. Did you hear that? I heard that. Like it was vibration. I've, like if you took a glass and went like this. I have to open up the curtain. Can he open that curtain? Go up? ahead. I said you I just, take no, it down. No, I mean, I gotta see if... Just, take, it down. just take the curtain down, Michael. No, I just want to see what's on the other side. Because it, it could be it could be the wind. Because do you hear the wind? Let's see if there's a draft. I 
close the door? not moving now because I closed the uh, door sound. We're waiting. Chicken. Talk to them like you talk to us. another chance. Here's your chance to tell us what is going on with you. Explain your story through this box here. That's the only other way you're going to be heard. If you're going to be stubborn and keep it to yourself, we're never going to be able to fully hear you and understand what you're trying to say. Yeah, I did. Something hit me in the ass. Okay, here's your chance. Say something now. Say hello. How are you? How are you? Can you tell me how many spirits are in this house?
distance in this corner. Is this your daughter's bed? Yes. Sammy. Stop right there. Bernadette. Look at that portrait on the wall on the right side of Sammy and tell me, just stare at it and tell me what you're seeing. Do you see that? Jesus. Exactly. Do you see that? It's making, it has made me look like four times. Do you see that? Look at the I portrait right on the side of the wall. I see a skull. I see eyes. Now I see a face. What is that, that a picture of on your wall over there? Jesus. 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 Okay, how old is that portrait? The top one or the paper one? The paper one. Uh, oh, that's... That's that's old because I've gotten... As a matter of fact, I have one over here too. I've gotten them free in the mail. Oh, my They're called prayer, prayer carpets, but I don't believe in that, so I just put them up as, as a His eyes picture. are closed. I know, and what, it, it looked like it was open, right? Yeah. Just His eyes look like they were open when we look at it. Oh, okay. But, and, but they're actually closed. Okay, over on this hutch, when they were taking the pictures of the cat and the Grim Reaper, somebody said they had seen squirrels on, um, over at that hutch. Who was taking pictures of the Grim Reaper? Did you hear that, girl? That's what I've been hearing. I thought that was the wind. Mm -mm. My daughter and my, sure my nephew were trying to take pictures of the cat because they were they had the mattress up and the cat was on top of the mattress. And that's when they got the picture of him. They, this spirit is coming through to me now. He's knowing that I'm catching on to him now. I know your darkest corners through that painting and I know through other things and now you're going to growl. Touch my hand. Touch my hand. Car. Come on, touch touch my hand. I just heard you. Now touch this. Touch the K2 meter in my hand. Come on. I don't see Ryder on the bed. No Ryder's on the bed. I mean, I don't, um, buddy I don't see Buddy on the bed. I don't know if there's anybody on that chair. He's feeding the energy on that dog. Where is that dog at? Buddy! Buddy! There's no cat or anything on the bed. Buddy! Mommy's bed! I would have known if he went upstairs. Oh, he's under that thing. He's underneath this bed. Okay. Good. Okay, he usually goes in under there. Okay, wait, it's not running. <coughs> that could have been there before. <coughs> it's not. He knows I'm getting to his weakness now. Move over. I can't move. I'm getting to your weakness now. I know exactly who you are. I know exactly where you're hiding. And I know exactly what to do with you. If you don't like it, make a sound. If you're going to try hurt me, make a sound. That was me. Oh, I think somebody's on the steps over here. Are you on the steps now? Knock on the wall. I'm going to banish you out of here. Shandy, knock again. Knock one more time.
time if you're going for the coal shandy. Are you over in the basement right now? If so, say yes. If you're in the basement right now, say yes. Or what? Or what? I'm gonna said so. I'm gonna come down there and banish you from this house. What are you gonna do if I do that? What are you going to do if I banish you? Nothing to say, right? What are you going to do if I banish you? Are you being a coward? Are you being a coward? That's, that's one thing Troy, I forgot to let you know, honey, is when the episodes put together and everything, sometimes we can't make, understand what they're saying until we run it through the equipment and then turn it up loud and then we'll be able to hear. Say hello! Are you right over here? That's good, try harder, keep talking. You're in this chair, aren't you? You're in this chair, right? Are you by Joy? sounded like the basement door. When I, yeah, I was out there, and after I drank, I went like this, and I felt like something went right in front of my face. Honest to God, I did. I, I've been feeling yeah, drawn upstairs. Doing that for Heard growling sounds, um, Whispering. whisperings, moaning sounds, dogs barking at things that aren't there. There it was again. I just heard whispering. Did you hear it? Yeah. That's, no, that's, um, that's, that's Ryder licking himself. <laughs> so yeah, guys, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Just bear with us. Uh, we're going to regroup and everything. Um, this will be a time for joy before we get into our next session. Or observation of your house becomes the conclusion, okay? We did some EEVP sessions, we did the voice box session, you clearly heard the voices coming through and everything like that. Um, we were downstairs and everything like that, we heard a big bang, 
downstairs that felt like something was thrown in your living room, which we found out that it was a bottle of soap that wasn't even there when we went downstairs. Um, your conclusion to your home is your home had several things that were going on with it. You had three spirits in your house, the people that had their bodies viewed into it. They're not so, so much more harmful, okay? You have your mother in here that's watching over you. That's so much not harmful. So the conclusion was, was that what was going on was it was through the eyes of a doll, which is right here. That was the haunted object in your house, making all this negative energy go through. It was the most innocent little thing that you could even think of, looking through the eyes of a, a porcelain doll like that. Um, so think of her eyes, or this doll's eyes, as a camera lens, looking at you, but it was a spiritual looking at you through the eyes of a doll, okay? Um, Sammy's doing the blessing right now. Once this doll leaves this home, you will see and feel more of an upbeat kind of feeling. You'll feel more energized. You'll feel more, more at ease, okay? Once your child comes back home here, and once your husband comes back home here, all you now need to tell them was that one specific thing that was haunting this home deeply wasn't in the eyes of an adult. This doll right here, okay? okay? Your daughter said to me on the phone that she always felt like it was watching her, watching her all the time, all right? And that could be the reason why you always felt like you were being watched and you were seeing things because the doll itself had an entity inside of it so the doll can literally, the spirit from the doll can manifest from out of the doll and represent himself or herself on the side of your bed, making you think that you're seeing a ghost, which is a ghost. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's really not a ghost. It's the enemy in there manifesting. Manifesting itself as another, another human being. Exactly. So all bottom line with everything that's going on in your home, the three spirits that you feel in your home, the ones that have the you in here, you have nothing to worry about with them. They, they just do their normal thing all the time. They just do their thing, you don't really notice it, but they're here. As for your grandmother, your grandmother's coming through, oh telling me, or your mother, she's coming through and she's telling me to tell you that she's always going to be getting one. Now that she knows, she clarifies it, that she's saying to me, Michael, thank you for finding this sort of object out that was holding me back. So we don't leave with them I was reading and looking through the walls of your house. I went up the stairs, felt fine as normal. Came downstairs, all the sounds and everything that we were hearing when we were coming towards the floor area towards the doll. So it was all directly coming towards the bottom of the floor area, which if you took notice, you were sitting here on the edge of your bed. Yeah. I was in the middle, it was on the side, and it was here. And I took the voice recorder down or the yeah. spirit box towards your leg and it's directly in front of this doll. And it said, hi. And they have, have met, could, could that enemy have gone in their doll? No. Once it's in a specific doll, it stays in the house. Okay. Because Sorry to interrupt. That's okay. Once, once it's in a specific doll, it stays in that doll. Mm -hmm. The only times that it would ever move out of the doll is for it to do a manifestation of showing the spirit once they've done their job and scared you, they jump back in the same vessel of the eyes of the doll that it looks at, or it looks out of with their eyes, okay? So, basically, if you put, excuse me, if you put two and two all together, you've got the doll on the floor, you've got the spirit box, you've got the EVP, and you've got the other devices going. And each time they rose it up, it was shut off. And they but each time down. they rose it down towards the floor, it was towards the doll or towards you. Yeah. And the doll was directly right across from your bed. Yeah. Okay? So, once this doll is out of your house, it's going into a lockbox. Which means that that lockbox will lock the entity inside the box and stall to it. Okay? Viewers or whoever, like the daughter, ever want to come see it, which I don't think she will. Okay? Because most 10 times out of 10 clients will not go or do something like that. But if she chooses her mind, she, now, she needs to know that by bringing the doll back in the house, you're just asking for more repercussions. Okay? By leaving the doll in its proper box where the spirit can't exit out of it because it's all four corners with white salt with a circle, mm -hmm. it's trapped and bound there forever and ever and ever. Okay? Okay. 
Now, as for your health and everything, once this doll leaves, you won't feel upbeat about your health. You'll feel more like... I don't feel like this doll is looking at me. This doll is gone. It's completely gone. Um, so basically, your home now will always still be haunted, but by spirits that aren't going to hurt you. Okay? Are not going to make you sick. Are not going to make you feel ill or make you feel like somebody's watching you or hitting you or beating you or doing... It'll stop and you'll make it feel like... It'll make it feel like you guys can have dinner once again. You guys can sit down and have coffee and drink coffee once again. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, I mean, I'm glad that you're partying with this. I'm glad that she's partying with this. Yes. Because with this being in the house, with years and years of me studying and, and learning and doing the paranormal, you're just keeping fire to the fire by letting it in the home. That's why I asked you, exactly. That's why I asked you and I said, did you get anything at yard sales? Did you get anything from like, like where did this doll originally come from? Kelsey got her online from a lady, I can say, um, like a different state. She had a good deal on the reborn. And she got that one and the other one that's in there so for like a hundred bucks. So she bought this online. And it wasn't new, but it came from another home, correct? Yeah, but okay. the way he, I think the way he, like, fixed it up, it was damaged. Okay. That could also mean that the lady that had this could have put a curse or a hex on it and sent it to you guys. Okay. And then you guys took it in, and then it started repercussioning onto your family. Okay. okay? Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. So, one thing that I'll always say is if you're ever going to buy something online, always make sure that it's brand new in the box sealed. If you buy something that can be used, you have no idea where that's coming from. You don't know if the people that had it did witchcraft. You don't know if the people that had it did a Ouija seance with it and stuff. And, or it could have been a cult doing sacrifices. And like that. So basically, it all comes down to the bottom line. The bottom line is, the entity all itself was in this doll. Guys, I want you to hear this really quick. I asked her and I said to her, where did she get the doll? She bought the doll used online from a woman that fixed it up. Okay? That made it look like that. And I told her, who's to say that lady that had this doll wasn't into witchcraft or cursed yeah. it or a voodoo mm -hmm. priest or something like that? Yeah. So, Basically, what you what, what's going to happen is once the doll leaves the house. TJ came from the same lady, but that was the doll that came from. Okay. Well, with the other doll in there, I'm not feeling nothing off oh, of okay. it. Only because she could have given you two dolls, one doll with nothing, and another doll with something part of it. Okay. Was there any questions that you wanted to ask? Um. Yeah, I was just wondering that. The extent you guys should we board up that whole shanty or should we just let it go? What I would part personally say is board it up. Okay. Board it up. And also put white salt where the door is. Okay? okay. So once you board that doorway up, it doesn't have to be like like kind of salt like rock salt or anything like that. It's your everyday cooking. Yeah, I use paper salt. Um so yeah, just push it against the doorway and that's a barrier. That the spirits from crossing over to the other side in the hallway. Okay, so it locks right. them up. Um, Bernadette, I don't know if you heard this. Okay, but she bought the doll online, all bro bro broken up, whatever, and they had them refixed. Well, they refixed it and then sent it to her. And as I was explaining to her that some people, when they ship things over line, that could be, you know... R.L. Stein doll. What's that? R.L. Stein. Yep. We can watch a lot of that and the doll was possessed and land through the door. So, I mean, what, what Sammy just Excuse said... Excuse me, Sammy, did you, did you bust over here in the pantry and everything? That's so exactly where I started. Okay. No, no, because the bathroom had activity. The bathroom? In my oh, I went so in there. So, now that you, now that you know the source, and now that you smell, smell in here. Okay? Mm -hmm. What are you feeling now? I feel a sense of calmness. And I feel... Yeah, I, just um, you you were I don't have the pain in my oh, back no. anymore. Okay. So, you know, that is a little bit, you know, so I do feel a lot more calmer. Okay. And I feel that you guys have removed it. And in a few days, 
I am hoping that it just keeps getting better and better because I believe in you people that you guys have taken it away. And I, I will guarantee you this, and I will promise you this right now, this was the source. Mm -hmm. Because it's weird, because when I went through your pictures on Facebook, this doll was the first one, and I pointed it out to you. Now, if you go back on your Facebook picture, I'm going to tell you this right now, and it's going to scare the crap out of you. When you took a picture of this doll, and when you tuned it up, the eyes are reptile eyes. Okay. Would you like to see that? Okay. Let me quick show you this really quick. And this is why I this is why I'm removing it from your house, okay? Okay. Hey, you can bless the porch and outside too. There's a lot of orbs in the middle of the road. Ah, no, ask Nikki. I'm serious. You can see them on my security system. Yeah, the orbs are they don't bother. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of orbs when we take care. Okay. Their... Here's the doll. All right. Okay. The one mm -hmm. that I just removed. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you click on it, watch the eyes. Okay. See how it's green and reptile? Like reptile eyes, is they look like this. Alright, yeah. like this, okay? That's the sign of demonic. Okay. Right now look at this. Now do you see what I'm talking about? Mm hmm So this was the source. Wait a minute. No, that's the... She's not the source. That's... Nope. Where's, she's not the source. Where's the one uh -oh. in this picture then? Why do they both look the same? Oh, uh, it's a different one. That's that's my baby. That's Ava. Oh. Well, well, no. The one that, the one in the picture right here is the one that's that's bad. This one here, she's saying it's not. So, can you bring her in here? No, she's saying that one's not the one in the picture. Oh. So there's two. She's not the one in there in the picture. She came from from another girl too. Yes, that's yeah, her. Yeah, that's, that's her. Can you tilt her the other way? Yeah. Yeah. That's Ava. She came from another person too. Oh wow. So you're gonna bless her and take her? That's that's up to you, honey. No, you can take her. That's up to you. Yep. And I, you know what? I sleep with her all the time. And do you see what I'm showing you right here? Yeah. When you started getting ill, did you have that doll already, or...? I started getting worse, I think, after... I don't remember. Because when I got sick, I, I got sick 2014. I was out, I don't remember anything till um, Thanksgiving or Christmas. Okay. So this is the one. You could, you showed me those, because this is Ava. She came from another person, too. Matter of fact, Kelsey traded this one to another girl for one of Kelsey's because she couldn't afford to buy me a reborn, so she wanted to do this one. Can you build two boxes? One big one. Salt down. Well, I mean, as long as we get them both trapped yeah. in one box and put salt around the whole thing. I mean, Zach has a lot of his 100 items in those big curio cabinets yeah. and he has okay. them under lock and key.